What's up, guys? Still turns back at you in another video. So, we're finally here to do the f reaction to the Falcons preseason game. We did not make or upload a preview video because we were busy. And we wanted to make this video a lot sooner, but, you know. Stuff got in the way. Yeah, so, uh, we're finally here to make it. And, uh, we also, uh, be doing basically a preview to the Colts preseason game. So, it's kind of good. It's basically going to be a two-in-one video. Uh, -huh. uh, before we get started, I want to show you, uh, because our birthday was just recently, uh, I want to show you, uh, one of the cool things I got. And, uh, in case, what uh, we got. Yeah, what we got, uh, because he got one as well. Uh, so, uh, for the, for the, for the people that have been subscribed to us for a while now, you guys might know that, uh... You guys might remember a black, terrible towel that yeah, we had. Yeah, I had a black, terrible towel, and, uh... So I got, and, uh, I got a new one right here. Looks real cool. So it has the terrible towel, has the six Super Bowls, six-time Super Bowl champion. So, uh... It's a real cool, terrible towel, man. I love it. Definitely gonna be, uh, using it this season, without a doubt. And, uh, for those wondering what happened to the black, terrible towel, uh... Uh... That's a story for another day. Yeah, let's just say that. Uh, we will definitely make a... You know, explain to you guys what happened. Uh, because it wasn't just a terrible towel. It was a bunch of our Steelers here. But that's a story for another day. Anyway, let's get to the Falcons game. Uh, I want to talk about a few players. Let's start with James Conner. Man, he made his NFL debut. Had a really impressive good game. Yeah, really? I'd say he had a good game. I mean, he struggled early in the game. But in the second half, he progressed a lot more. Yeah, he got I mean, he got, he got uh, almost 100 yards. twenty About 20 carries. Yeah, he got he had 98 yards on 20 carries, basically almost five yards a carry. Plus, he had over 100 yards of total uh, total offense. So that's real good in my opinion. That's a good game for him. Good debut. Even though he didn't make two uh, mistakes when he dropped uh, two catches that he should have caught, which you know he's definitely got to work on. But yeah. hopefully he does. Even, even though James Conner had a very good game. But I'd say he had a good game. You know, sure it's gonna take him a little bit to. Process, you know, to to develop, which you know, I mean, all rookies have to. Exactly. But this was his first game. Uh, he did really good, in my opinion. I saw a lot of good things from him. Hopefully, he continues that with the Colts game. Uh huh. So I can't wait, especially with the Bell situation. By the way, Bell did come out on Twitter and said that he will be reporting to the Steelers the first day of September. I don't know why it's taking him this freaking long to show up to the Steelers, but whatever. Whatever. As right? long as he's showing, but hopefully, you know, he can be able to progress, and maybe we can sign to a long-term deal next offseason. Maybe. Uh. I'm just going to come out and say, I don't see it happening. I really don't. But the way he's acting, I really don't. I really hate to say that because I'm a fan of Bell, of course. I love Bell. We love, we he, love, obviously we love his talent. He's perhaps the best running back in the league right now. Arguably. And he is perhaps our best player on our team. But the way he's been acting and the freaking drama he's always bringing in the offseason, who know? to be honest, I don't think he's going to stay with the Steelers. And, you know, I don't think he's going to be with the Steelers next season. A few players have done this type of crap before. I mean, look at Mike Wallace, for instance. Mm -hmm. Look what happened to him. He left and become anything. Didn't do nothing. He went to the Dolphins, did okay. Went to the Vikings, didn't do crap. Now he's now he's a starter for the Ravens. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't say that's really a... Uh, I, I wouldn't say that's, you know, successful, in my opinion, after no. leaving the Steelers. So... Considering he was great with the Steelers, but now look at him. Yeah, the Roonies don't. The Roonies don't, you know, tolerate that type of bullshit. No, so. they don't. But as for Bell, a player like him, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. But we'll see what happens. Anyway, back to the game. Uh, another player I want to talk about, and I was absolutely happy to see him finally back on the field for uh, what 19 months. They said about Martavis Bryant, number he, 10. He had a real, he had a pretty good game. It was great to see him out on the field. He made one great catch on the. Near, I mean, near the sideline. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it was great to see him out on the field. I wish we went deep with him more. But, uh, I mean, you know, it, it's nice that he's, you know, warming up, you know, you know, basically getting used to everything. Exactly, again, yeah. So. He's, he's getting used, you know, he's getting used to being back on the field, being with his teammates. Yeah, so that's good to see, you know. Hopefully we continue against the Colts game. And, by the way, speaking of, uh, Brian, one of his, obviously his, you know, his main guy that throws on the ball is obviously Big Ben Roethlisberger. I just read that he said he confirmed that he is ready for the Colts game. Not sure if that means he is playing, probably, but uh, if he does play... I would like to see some more, some more communication with Ben and Brian on the field. Yeah, because, man, we've missed that. Yeah, yes, we have. We have definitely have. missed that, man. But it was great to see Brian back on the field. Uh, you know, I'm sure he's going to play the Colts game, but it was great to see him back on the field, man. It's been a while. Yep. So I uh, cannot wait to see what he does this upcoming season, man. Yep. And uh, Josh Dobbs. Uh, uh, he really didn't have a good game. He, he continued to struggle. 
Like he like he wasn't quick at throwing the ball. He wasn't like consistent. He made a few mistakes. I mean I mean yes, he is a rookie. It does take time, but yes, of course. but but like you you got to do something. Yeah. You have to do something. I mean, he did okay. I mean, he he threw a good pat a few good passes. Like that like that catch to Bryant uh, or that pass to Bryant near the sideline. Uh, but he, there was this one play that just like like what the heck? Now, like what the heck he was doing? I understand like that that shovel pass he did which was intercepted. We were looking for I believe it was Jake McGee. I, I believe. believe it was. Like I understand, you know, he's trying to you know, continue to play. He's trying to like you know, continue it basically. Now it, I, I I appreciate that he is trying to continue to play, trying to make something out of the play, but uh, I mean, it could have been better. But, I mean, if you look before he does the shuffle pass, you could see that Jake McGee was wide open way earlier. Yeah, on the flat. So hopefully he continues to develop, but we'll see what happens. Yeah. I don't know. He'll get some playing time against the Colts because I'm hearing that Landry Jones will be out again. So uh, we'll see. He's he's going to get more playing time against the Colts. So oh, I mean, hopefully he gets better, man. Hopefully he gets better. But the other quarterback that, you know, Bart Houston, you he know. He did real good. He was actually more quick, you know, at throwing the passes to the receivers. I, I think he made a few better throws. He even threw a touchdown to Justin Houston. Mm-hmm. Well, Justin, Hunter. Justin Hunter. That's yeah, what it my was. Fault. Justin Hunter. I'm thinking of the linebacker. Uh, yeah, Justin Hunter, he made a made a few catches, got a touchdown. So, I mean, Bart Houston threw a late interception. But, uh, I mean, in my opinion, he had a much better game than uh, Dobbs. He actually did, in my, in my opinion. I mean, with Landry Jones being out, it's 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 possible that he could make the roster, but I highly fucking doubt it. I don't know. It depends on how he you know does you know with the rest of the preseason games. It really does. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. And uh, I want to talk. About, speaking of Jake McGee, you just talked about Jake McGee. He is an ex, he's a great run blocker. Yeah, if you've seen you know the runs that James Conner was doing, like the big like ten plus uh, yard runs. It was mainly Jake McGee, you know, getting, getting that, that block main form. block, man. Getting he's, that main block. He's a great blocking tight end. I remember uh, last week against the uh, the Giants, he made this one great block that gave Terrell Watson the touchdown. Uh-huh. He's a great run blocker, man. He, he really protect, is. He could potentially be that number three uh, tight end for us. He could be a great run blocker for us. He uh-huh. can kind of be our next Matt Spaeth because Matt Spaeth was a great run blocker. Yeah. It's possible, man. But I'm like, I like I like I like what I'm seeing from Jake McGee. Uh-huh. Another player is uh, Trey Williams. You know, uh, he, he, guy, made, he made a big play that was desperately needed in that game, the punt return touchdown. Yeah, uh, I mean. He's really fast. He, he's pretty fast. He's got quick feet. He did really good in that punt. Return. And plus, not only with that great punt return, which is, like like we said, great, he made a few other good returns after that. So, mm-hmm. he could potentially be our punt returner. I don't know. I mean, considering that Brown is our main punt returner, we can't always have him, you know, in that position. Yeah, considering he has, our, he has our number one he's receiver. He's probably our most valuable. Well, He's probably our second or third most valuable player. Our most valuable, our most valuable player is Ben, in my opinion. Yes. Second, maybe Bell, but I think Brown's up there more because he's more consistent. He is, and he's showing up. Yeah. So, uh, Trey Williams did pretty good. So, I mean, hopefully he continues it. Maybe could be a sleeper. Could All be right. a good punt returner. Maybe, forward. maybe. I don't know because I'm not seeing too much from Nile Davis in the return game. I don't know. Maybe Trey Williams beats that and beats the return man. I don't know. Who does? I don't know. And uh, probably player of the game is uh, Jordan Dangerfield. Yeah. Uh, uh, Dangerfield. Two picks. Didn't. Two picks. Yeah. After that shuffle and pass that Dobbs did that led to you know that was intercepted. Dangerfield, you know, got Steelers the ball back with a real good interception. That I didn't really know where the ball was located. Really, now, which was gran- going to. Granted, those two picks were bad throws. The second pick, uh, the the running back could have caught, but then again, Dangerfield was right there, so we could knock the ball out no matter what. But uh, exactly. But uh, and Dangerfield was re- really aware of that ball and yeah, he was pretty, pretty quick yeah, at, pretty at getting it. So, uh, I mean, you know, with with injury of Mike Mitchell, Dangerfield's getting more reps and more playing time, and it feels like and it, it, it looks to me that those extra reps, those extra playing time, is paying off. It is. I don't know. But uh, hopefully Dangerfield continues, man. He had a pretty good game, in my opinion. Uh-huh. And another player that had a good game was Anthony Chicolo. Two sacks. Two sacks. So He did really good in the run game as well. Now, Anthony Chicolo is is the second string uh, linebacker behind Bud Dupree. Arthur Motes is number three behind Anthony Chicolo. Uh, we already know the type of game Arthur Motes had last week against the Giants. Uh, uh-huh. Anthony Chicolo had a pretty good game this week. Trying to secure, trying to secure that number two uh, linebacker spot. He really is, considering he is a lot younger. Yeah. So, uh. I don't I'm, know, man. He had a pretty good game. Tekelo could very well progress. You know, he uh, he could continue to progress. He could. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens next week. 
Yeah. Uh, another player I want to talk about is Mike Hamilton. Well, Mike, wow, what the hell? Mike Hilton. Mike Hilton. I continue to say this guy's a sleeper. He made a few good plays. He was pretty good in coverage. And he made this one great play that very well could have been a safety. Yeah, he, 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 for, he just... He went for the blitz, got to the quarterback, and basically forced the incompletion. He really did. But could have been a safety, so that's, that was a pretty good play by him. Mm-hmm. So, uh, that's... I mean, we still have a few good players, have a few good games, so... Uh, that's good to see that these players are progressing, trying to fight for their roster spots, mm-hmm. making making some plays. So I'm glad to see that. Hopefully they continue to develop and progress. Yeah. But I can't I can't wait for the Colts game, man. Ben is most likely going to play. Bryant's going to play. Juju Smith Schuster, who was not who did not play for the Falcons because I think he had a what was it knee shoulder injury. A bone bruise in his knee. Yeah, you go uh, bone bruise. But uh, hopefully it's minor. I think it's minor. But hopefully he plays against the Colts. Yeah, uh, so we can see more of them. Yeah. Because we didn't really see too much from him. And maybe communicate with Ben a lot more as well. Yeah, so uh, hopefully Juju plays. Uh, Connor's definitely going to play more. So uh, it's pretty exciting. I can't wait for the Colts game, man. I like to see see more from Mike Hilton, Dangerfield. You know, maybe even Chicklow as well, considering the game he had against the Falcons. It's possible Shazier could get back on the field. I'm not sure how bad his injury is. I'm not sure how long he's out. But it's possible he could play against the Colts. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. But I can't wait for the Colts game. Uh, Yeah, so... uh, doesn't matter if we win. I don't really care. I just watch. It's just it. preseason, but it's it's good. To see, you know, it's nice to see. You know how the backups, you know, could progress and potentially even be future starters. Yeah. So uh, can't wait for the Colts game, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the game, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you later. Peace. Peace!